Morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday, end of the week, March 11th, and this is your pre-opening comment, video number 1,185 for this Friday morning. Uh, Asia, lower again, mostly uh, on Hong Kong and China, um, and uh, Europe is a little bit higher. Uh, the news around is uh, that Putin says that uh, negotiations are um, have a positive tone to that. Personally, I think he's full of crap. Um, I don't believe anything he says ever. And, uh, you know, ahead of a weekend where people might let their guard down slightly because of that kind of comment, I think that's a problem. Uh, the futures on that news were up about 400 in the Dow, now up 250, 260. Uh, NASDAQ is up 145, and the S&P is up 36. Uh, Janet Yellen was on uh, CNBC yesterday. Um, another one full of crap, or maybe just not that bright. Uh, I mean, I don't mean to... Um, disparage her at all, truly. But the Fed has a history of utter stupidity. They've been wrong many, many more times than they've been right. She says there's going to be a soft landing. Uh, I, personally, I don't believe it. Not that I don't believe that that's what they think they're going to get. But that's always what they think they're going to get, and it rarely, rarely happens. Um, you know, let's remember how bright they were. Uh, you had a bunch of Fed people and uh, other, quote, geniuses that practically crashed our economy with um, their uh, fund, the name of which... Um, escapes me at the moment, but I'll long-term capital. That's right. Uh, and then we had that genius Greenspan, who everybody thought was, you know, the best, whose comment three years after he left his position said about subprime, oh, well, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. So, you know, this is not a group that you take at face value. Okay, AMAT, $6 billion buyback. Stock is 129 and a quarter, up 428, 8.3%. We have Rivian continuing on the downside. Last night in the closing comment, I told you it was uh, trading at around 35 and a half on a missed top and bottom and poor guidance. Uh, and this morning, it's gained back a little bit of that. Uh, it's trading 37.80, only down 336 instead of the uh, move from last night, which was about eight and a half dollars. DocuSign um, also uh, in the news last night. They actually beat top and bottom, but gave horrendous guidance. It was 78.22, down 19.96 or 20 percent. Uh, this morning it's uh, 77, 70, down 16.18, or another 17.2 percent number. Uh, we have not much going on in the futures. We have oil up 30 cents. Uh, that gas up about a dime. We have the gold down below uh, 2,000 again. Um, yesterday's close was, I believe, 2,000.40. Uh, it was up 12.20. This morning it's down 22.60. Silver down about 40 cents. Copper down a half a penny, so not much there. Uh, the grains aren't doing much of anything uh, relative to their previous action. I mean, a five cent a, uh, a day move per bushel in the corn is, you know, kind of average, uh, but it's not up or down 35, which is the limit 
that it has traced out uh, multiple times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the meats are not open, uh, cotton up a little, coffee up a little, lumber up 20 uh, yesterday. And uh, we have the dollar up about a dime with Ethereum up $18 and Bitcoin down a dollar five, and basically unchanged to up an eighth of a point in the 30 year, which had a great auction yesterday. Um, rates went lower after they they did the auction. So pretty impressive. All right, everyone, be careful out there. Don't believe what you hear. And uh, the reason I'm doing this now and not waiting is consumer sentiment doesn't come out until 10 a.m. And frankly, in this kind of market with this kind of news around, I can't imagine it's going to make any difference at all. Have a good day. Be careful out there and have a good weekend.